All right, we are back. And in today's video, we're going to talk a little bit more about NiceHash. And mainly, their one feature they have is their NiceHash Exchange. Uh, if you don't know, I have been mining mainly with NiceHash right now, CPU mining mostly. Before all this, a couple years ago, I was a GPU miner, big into it, lots of heat, lots of electricity use, lots of dust. Uh, yeah, and lots of, uh, lots of heartache chasing that Ethereum. Uh, just to build those coins and also chasing a lot of crap coins on Zerg pool on Monero ocean, all those things chasing the altcoins. Now, a few years later, I'm, uh, chasing, uh, the old Bitcoin mining seat, mining with my CPUs that I built a couple of years ago, no new hardware and, uh, getting paid out in Bitcoin. CPU mining is not as profitable as it was in November of 2023. It's come down, but it's still fun. It's a good hobby. So looking at NiceHash, I realized these guys actually have an exchange and I just never really paid much mind to it. You kind of get into the bad habits of get your coins on your uh, exchanges or you mine wherever you mine, you get them and then you move them to your wallet and you hold them and or you move them to like a crappy place like Coinbase or, or another better place like Kraken or Gemini and then you uh, sell them incurring a lot of Bitcoin or Ethereum or whatever coin transaction fees. And it does add up. It takes a little bit out of your profits and it's kind of annoying. So anyway, we have a nice hash here. Their exchange, I mean, it's pretty cool. It's a, prof uh, it's a powerful, powerful cryptocurrency exchange and it's integrated like you see right here into their platform. So let's click on that and you can see some of their options. Whoops. Right here, you got convert, buy, sell crypto, their trading view, and the uh, current markets uh, it's kind of cool because it makes a nice uh, a nice one-stop shop for the miners and the buyers of uh, of hash power so even if you're not mining you can actually go into the other stuff i won't get into now is their hash power marketplace and then some other easy mining stuff too so for those folks that do that and then for miners you have this one-stop shopping uh exchange you know and this is like i said it, it basically eliminates the need to move your funds, your uh, mine Bitcoin or your mine coin, whatever you're mining, to other exchanges, and then you basically avoid all those damn block foot, uh, block foot, those uh, those uh, blockchain fees you're paying. Either, uh, yeah, and it does add up. And then the best time to actually move your uh, Bitcoin is in the low peak time. So you're paying. Ethereum had a thing called the gas fee, and that was based on network traffic and volume and stuff like that. And you could actually go to a site and watch the current gas fee. Bitcoin has something similar. So if you are going to move your stuff to your wallet or another exchange, you can go monitor this. And basically, peak times are Eastern time, business hours. Anything after that, maybe 1 a.m. in the morning, Eastern time, most likely the fees are going to be a lot less to move your Bitcoin. So anyway, enough about that. Let's jump through this. Um, I have not used any of this stuff. I was just poking around and uh, I like the fact that they had a, a convert. You can uh, take, say I'm mining um, Bitcoin and I really want to swap with a Litecoin. Not that I ever would because I dumped all my Litecoin and swapped it to Bitcoin. Uh, I want everything Bitcoin. Uh, let's see, we can do buy, sell crypto, trade view and markets. So let's look at um, the trade view. This is kind of cool. This is just a trading view app which shows the uh, current prices, the uh, order book, the buy and sells as well. So you can see we're at 41,381. Again, not the best price it's been. That ETF kind of hurt Bitcoin, I think. Again, uh, buy the rumor, sell the news, because everything ran up to almost 48K. Remember, the old SEC came out with their fake wink wink tweet about uh, the approval of the ETFs, like almost qu not quite a day before they actually officially approved them just to drive the prices up and then quickly down. You never know. It, it seems very suspicious. But uh, this is a good view. Go through and see what the current orders are and where the price is. You can buy and sell too. If you move stuff into, if you have Bitcoin on this platform, or um, I don't know if you are USDT. I don't know if they take fiat. That's something. I don't think they have US cash. I think it's got to be a coin and you can use that coin to buy more and uh, accumulate, accumulate, right? Uh, so that's kind of cool. Let's see, we got Bitcoin, USDT price. Yeah, USDC, Euro, Bitcoin. All, it's just showing all right now. So those are the different conversions right there. 
Uh, I have no open orders. So this is almost like that Coinbase Pro GDAT app I bring up, which is deprecated. That was uh, I used from 2017 on. Uh, kind of cool. You can go through and put your orders in and set your limit price, your market prices, stuff like that. All right, so all good, right? You get the gist of it. Go play with it. And let's go to the markets. This is your current, oh, they call it NiceX. That's cute. Uh, you got markets and nice hash, the current market price, the uh, 24 hour low. This is, might be better than that Apple app I'm using. You have a uh, 41,330 is a 24 hour low. So we're kind of at the bottom. And then 41,009 was the 24 hour high. I like this. This is actually more informative than most of the basic stock ticker pages I do use because they have a 24 hour window and you're just not sure when they started that clock you're like wait it just flipped what is the real price you know it's it's you know the real price but what was the high from where and you're kind of confused by that this kind of spells it out uh we got the volume and we got the 24 hour change down a bit litecoin up 1.6 still horribly performing this was at 400 bucks at one time yeah that's why i dumped it i just got sick it took the loss and just got into bitcoin it yeah i don't know what litecoin's up to uh xrp yeah they're kind of trending down we got Raven, XMR. Uh, let's see, what else we got? Bitcoin, oh, there's Bitcoin Europe, LTC, USDT value. It's just all the uh, basically uh, the different uh, values like ETH to BTC, Sol to BCC, ADA. All right, you get the gist of it. Uh, you go watch that. I kind of do like this. You can see where it's at. Uh, let's go back up here. We did TradeView. TradeView, you can buy, sell crypto as well. Go in here and put in what you, oh, you can do US dollar, interesting. So if you have US dollar on this platform, you can put in your amount and then you can buy Bitcoin. Oh, select your payment method. Oh, look at that, Google, I did not know this. I never done this. So you can do Visa, MasterCard. I'm not sure if your credit card will block it. Sometimes I'm, uh, they may say, hey, we're not gonna let you do any crypto stuff on your credit card. This is a few years ago. So they may have changed that. So we got that, you got Google Pay. Uh, so there, there you go. You can buy Bitcoin directly. I don't know what the fees are. You're going to have to read the small print to see what kind of fees they charge on purchases. So there is that one. And you can also convert. So say I mined one Bitcoin. Oh, I want to switch it to a uh, Litecoin. You can actually go into it and uh, pick the, what you want to bit uh, spend on the Bitcoin. And then you can convert it to the actual coin you want. And uh, then you'll pay the fees. But you can do it right here. What is the minimum amount of cryptocurrency that I can buy? Yeah, there's minimums as well. Yeah, are there any trading fees? Yes, the fee is already included in the approximate receiving amount. Trade levels are calculated based on your lifetime activity. Once you reach a certain level, you will never go to a higher fee again. Yeah, so you can see the fee structure as well. So that's good. The more you buy and sell, the more you trade, your fees will drop. Uh, so you got that. Let's watch a little video here. This is a short video on how to exchange, how to trade cryptocurrency at NiceHash. Let's see here, this works. In this guide, we are going to show you how to quickly exchange cryptocurrencies at NiceHash. Currently, as you can see, I'm in my wallet and I want to exchange some Bitcoin for Litecoin. All right, this guy's speaking slow, so I'm gonna do 1.5 speed. Uh, he's basically going to show you how to exchange Bitcoin for Litecoin. Let's rock. I click exchange and I click simple view. Now through this form, we can make a quick exchange. First, we have to decide which cryptocurrency we are spending. Spending means that we are giving this cryptocurrency away in order to receive some other cryptocurrency. So here I have to select Bitcoin. And as I said, I want to receive Litecoin. Let's say I want to trade 0 0.008 Bitcoin. Based on the current ratio, I can get, for one Bitcoin, I can get 141.77 Litecoin. And for 8 millibitcoins, I'm getting 1.12 Litecoins. Now, this number may change in time because market conditions change all the time. This is an approximate amount that we are going to get if we are spending or selling 0 0.008 Bitcoin. If we want to secure this amount, we can enter it here in the minimum trade execution. So for example, 
if markets change in time and if price goes down just at the time when we are making the exchange, we can secure our trade with this, uh, with this number. So for example, I will enter here 1.12. Now this means that the trade will not execute if at the time of the exchange the price will fall um, and I won't. Yeah, so basically what they're doing, they're setting a limit price. So if you know the ratio is 1.12 and uh, the market drastically drops, uh, then you know the limit has dropped below the, what you're willing to spend it at. So the, uh, tr uh, the um, order will not execute, which is kind of nice. So it kind of basically protects you from a fast falling market or whatever, and then, or rising market. So you don't pay more or sell below what you want to do. Uh, kind of gives you a nice feeling on that. Uh, yeah, everything is based on the current prices. This number here, the ratio from whatever you're swapping to whichever coin varies. Uh, I don't know, by the minute, based on the prices, it does fluctuate. So you have to find the best ratio for you and, uh, and decide if you want to execute your uh, swap order, your convert order on the coins. Let's go on. I won't be able to get this approximate amount. Now, the fee is already included in the receiving amount. And currently, we are trading at 0.5% fee. Now we so they're trading at 0.5%. Um, yeah, you have to decide if you're willing to pay that. But again, if you were to move your coins around to say uh, Kraken, Gemini, or uh, what's that other one, uh, Coinbase, you're gonna pay the Bitcoin transaction fees anyway. So do you wanna just do everything on NiceHash and handle it there? And uh, yeah, maybe minimize your fee exposure. That's something that you gotta do the math on and see if, it's, uh, see if it makes sense to you. And, and also note, every time you do a conversion, say you're selling Bitcoin for Litecoin, that's a, that's a taxable trade. You have to basically make sure you account that, hey, I sold Bitcoin at this price. Uh, and whenever you bought that Bitcoin, that's a taxable event and you got to record that for Mr. Uncle Sam. Yeah, you got to know that stuff, guys. And I'm sure with NiceHash, they have reporting features as well to help you report that as, as well as you move forward to doing your taxes. We can get a lower fee if we trade some more. And the good thing about the nice cash exchange is that you never go back to a higher fee again. So once you reach a lower fee tier, uh, you never go back. And down in the description below, uh, you can you can uh, see all the all the tiers and all the fees that are. So that is pretty nice. You do uh, lower your fees the more you trade, and I do not think any other platform offers that. I've not seen that advertised. So that's a big plus for nice hash. So the more you trade you get a lower fee structure and then you hold that fee structure without it ever going back up. All right, let's go on. Available at NiceHash. So now all I have to do is click Review Exchange. Now Exchange won't happen just yet. So I, I click Review and now here uh, I get the final uh, approximation. So uh, for, this, for this trade, I will get approximately 1.128 Litecoins and I'm spending 8 millibitcoins. Now all I have to do is uh, check this box. Uh, stating that I understand that the receiving amount is an approximation and may change due to price changes on the market. And that is why we, in the previous step, uh, set up a minimum expected uh, amount. Now, when I click Confirm Exchange, this exchange happens. So I have sold 8 uh, milli Bitcoins for 1.13 uh, Litecoins. Actually, I have gained some more Litecoins than, uh, than expected. Now, if I click View Transaction, I am. Uh, uh, I, I go to. I go to my Litecoin wallet, and I can see this transaction here. So here is here are all the information uh, regarding this transaction. So this is how you create uh, a simple uh, simple trade at NiceHash. In this guide, we are going to show you how to. Dude, I like it. I like it a lot. It seems. Uh... It seems up there, if not better, than most of the exchanges I have used. So something to consider. Go check it out if you want to buy any crypto directly and sometimes buying may be better than mining because mining you are paying electricity cost you're uh buying hardware you have hardware fees you're generating heat in your house uh you're worried about fire <laughs> if you're not doing it right with gpus and that you could uh, always uh overheat one of these things or the wires could melt and you could be in a problem situation so sometimes it is better just to buy the crap and you can go to nice hash put your credit card or have uh google what is it oh apple pay and uh, buy it that way. And then the more you do buy, if you're really in the trading, uh, you can uh, lower your transaction fees as you move forward. Uh, having said that, you can also now just go buy the ETF. For those of you who do not want to handle crypto directly, Bitcoin, and have to manage your uh, 
your coins on your wallet and move everything around. A lot of that is beyond the normies out there. A lot of people don't even know what the hell we're talking about. What do you mean move my coin to a wallet and store it? Uh, people will lose it. They'll lose their laptop, lose their ledger keys. And uh, then they're at the mercy of scammers and uh, man in the middle attacks, uh, address spoofing, stuff like that. It's a lot out there. So that's why the appeal of ETFs, Bitcoin ETFs like Fidelity's, Vanguard's, and BlackRock's are popular, even though they are down since they opened up uh, over a week ago. We'll see what happens if they come back. But a lot of money is flowing into the ETFs because it uh, makes it more readily available to the masses. And uh, yeah, we'll see if it goes back up. It should. Typically, it does. Anyway, that is all I wanted to show you. Point out this uh, exchange stuff on NiceHash. I knew it was there. I just never looked into it. And uh, look at my fee, 0%. Well, that's interesting. I need to figure out. I should do a trade on here with uh, Apple Pay and see what my fee is just to report on and see, see how it goes. But yeah, check it out. See what, you, uh, see what you guys think. If you have used NiceHash Exchange, please make a comment below and let me know how you like it. And let me know what you've used. Have you used the convert, the buy and sell of crypto, the trade view to put your uh, orders in on the order book, and, uh, and even the markets, what you find on watching the markets, if that's a useful thing. I think I like it right now. Just uh, may, makes it basically a one-stop shop, which I like. I hate having multiple things I got to bounce around to. If you can just have one place where you can do all your crypto stuff, that is a sweet, sweet solution. Because over time, if you do walk away from it for a year, you forget all this stuff. So having it one place on your one dashboard uh, definitely makes life a lot easier to go back to. So there you go, guys. A little quick video on the old nice hash exchange feature. Thank you for watching. Let me know. Make some comments below what you think about it. All right, I'll talk to you guys later. Boom.